Hello, my name is Dr. Stephanie Heidelberg. I am a psychiatrist and I've been in practice in the United States for over 35 years. For the last nine years, I have traveled around the country practicing in different hospitals as a temporary psychiatrist from Virginia to Arizona, from Maine to Florida. In these travels, I have learned several compelling things that I think psychiatric patients should know. I call them pearls for psychiatric patients, and I'm going to share them with you in several short lectures. The subject of today's pearl is benzodiazepine dependence or addiction. Benzodiazepines are well-known medications. Xanax, Valium, an old one, Librium, Transine, Cerax, Clonopin, um, these medications, Ativan, um, these medications are in the class of benzodiazepines. Now, they are highly addictive, but the shorter acting ones, that is the ones that last only three to four hours, four to five hours, are the most addictive. The longer acting ones go in gradual and leave gradual, so there's not a withdrawal anxiety which makes you run to get another pill. In fact, Xanax is probably the most addictive medication that we use commonly in this country. It is a short-acting benzodiazepine, and many have said that one cannot uh, get off of Xanax. Uh, one has to change to a longer-acting benzodiazepine in order to taper off. The reason is because every time you try to go down or off, you get the anxiety that made you start taking it in the first place, but this time it's a withdrawal anxiety. So you have really created a new anxiety for yourself. Therefore, if your doctor prescribes a benzodiazepine, please talk to him about making it very time limited, two weeks, three weeks just to get you through a significant problem. Another good use for Xanax and other benzodiazepines, in my opinion, is an occasional use such as fear of flying and you use it once every few months uh, or something like that. When you use benzodiazepines very rarely, you do not develop a tolerance and you do not get, get addicted. Unfortunately, people like the feeling of relaxation it gives them, so they, they start using it on a regular basis. What you'll end up doing is overusing it and really destroying your life, your whole life being committed to finding your next bottle of pills. That's it for this pearl. Remember, do not stop any psychiatric medication abruptly. Do not prescribe medication for yourself. Do not take anyone else's medication or buy it on the streets. Always take your medication under the direction of your doctor. Do partner with your doctor on your medications. Do combine medications with the appropriate psychotherapy as medications do not work well or as well when taken alone. These pearls are not underwritten by any pharmaceutical company and are my opinions only as reflecting my experiences as a practicing psychiatrist. Good luck.